Boom, ba da ba da ba da 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 You got a friend in me, do 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 do. You got a friend in me. Do do do. Okay, I'm not gonna sing the full song, but uh, hi everybody. This is Black Rhino Ranger. Welcome to yet another glorious animation live stream. Okay, technically not animated, they're still drawings, but it but today we celebrate 36 years of one of the most revolutionary animal uh, I mean animation studios ever to exist. Pixar, the company behind the first feature-length animated film completely 3D animated. The uh, Toy Story. And and they would inspire many other companies like DreamWorks, Illumination, Blue Sky, and Sony Pictures Animation to make their own 3D animated film. Now for this occasion, all you gotta do is request me a ca anything relating to, the, to these, either the franchises or the shorts from Pixar. Franchises like Toy Story, Monsters Inc., Finding Nemo, Cars, or the shorts like Look So Jr., Nick Knack, Mountain, or whatever. Which one do you choose? I think the public has spoken. Now, okay, so earlier today I wasn't feeling super well, so if you can, can the request be a little bit more... Uh, uh, simplistic but if you can but you can still use the super chat to request anything you uh, to request anything you want especially if it's rule free and if you have nothing to request just ask me any question all right let's see what we got hmm You just got my hat. Look, I'm Woody. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Give me that. Yeah, I can imagine, I can imagine Woody reacting like this if, if, if Pink Fong actually, uh, wore, wore Woody's hat. There's a snake in my boot.
There we go, we have Pink Fong as Sheriff Woody. Wait, let me just uh, let me just include a little bit of a. Um... Apparently, I I keep forgetting that Woody has these little stitch thingies on his uh, on his hat. And uh, oh yeah, I forgot to include some patterns for Woody. Okay, so I'm just. There you go. That's Toy Story taken care of. Next up shall be either a Bug's Life or somebody uses the Super Chat. Alright, what's next? Oh, okay, um... Another, another Toy Story one, okay. Somebody's a big fan of this big fish. I noticed a pattern that a lot of people that some that with, with for some people a lot of people request me a lot of the same things but in different variations. Some keep requesting me pink fong, some request a user keeps asking me to include that uh, fish creature Dracovish from Pokemon and uh what was it? There's even one who likes me to include a lot of in, uh a bit of Incredibox. Not that I'm complaining, it's just the patterns are a bit noticeable. And uh, just to include, um, Something went wrong. Okay, that's one Pixar. Now, what's the next one?
Ah, yes, the, uh, ah, yes, the, uh... I, I remember, I remember her, I, I, I remember draw, I think I remember drawing her before, I'm just, um, just trying to remember when it was it. Again, um, in this human form. Hmm. I I have noticing that Pixar does have a have that um, bean is become is is about to ha use that bean smile stuff. Oh. Let me just um Oops. Just uh, making sure the ear is a bit in a better position. Hmm. Well, I'm not very good with drawing uh, hand shakes. I mean, holding hands. Okay, I'll just um, do it like this. Yeah, that's more like it.
I don't know why, but for some reason I cannot avoid the toenails or fingernails. So, what was the other character written? Hmm. Just um, hmm. Just uh, let me just see. So I'm just uh, adjusting my uh, thing a bit. And the fight and the There we go. We have uh, we have uh, the corp 
Princess Coral with uh, Alberto. That crosses out Luca. Um. Okay, what else do we do we have? Let's see. Um. Oh yeah, there's another pattern I know. Just. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs>
Yeah, there was a time when Randall did try to be scary in Monsters University, but due to Sully's uh, great performance, uh, Randall underperformed his scare, and thus he had he has a bit of rivalry with Sully ever since. With that's the last time I used to you, Sullivan. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> well, it's not really a Pixar. Uh, it's not really a Pixar thing to live stream if you can't include some of its common Easter eggs. Just giving some more space for character.
excuse me for a minute, I need to, uh... There you go, we have Wally and the monk from Incredibox. Uh, uh, help uh, cleaning, um, organizing his collection after cleanup. That's the best I can do. Let's see, anything. Uh okay, I got another. I, oh, Reddit. Uh, Remy from Ratatouille helping Spongebob. You know, this actually reminds me of an actual Spongebob episode called the original fry cook where a, a, a guy named Jim Who was the original fry cook came in to help Spongebob uh, How to make the perfect pehli and he tells him the lessons about life that uh, you only be a good you only be a good chef if you got the guts to get out of this place. He's, and funny enough, Jim is also played by Patton Oswald, and the episode was a, something animated and is about cooking and and came out in 2007, just like Ratatouille. Uh, since Spongebob has no hair, I suppose he could, um... Maybe he could, maybe he would be traveling into Spongebob's, uh, holes, go inside his brain to help him with the thing. But, um, we all, um, then again, that would, um, that doesn't really go well. I mean, there's episodes like, uh, The Inside Job, and of course, Plankton, the first appearance of Sheldon J. Plankton. He once tried to control SpongeBob's mind by going into his brain, and um, and <laughs> SpongeBob just keeps um, smashing into buildings, and he tries to be and uh, Ends up with the with the with the Prabby Patty, and he ends up in Plankton's lab. This is my lab, and this is my laboratory. Hmm. And then he was forced to drop. He was forced to drop the uh, the the Krabby Patty in. It. But then SpongeBob said, then. Say, I'm gonna miss you, Patty, with your toasty buns and your cheese and your patty and the lettuce and all that stuff. This caused Plankton to drool so much that he goes after the patty instantly. And, uh, the sca and he accidentally jumps into the scanner. So according to Karen, and when, he, when they place in the seaweed, he goes, Seaweed. 
50% sea, 50% weed. And as for plankton, plankton, 1% evil, 99% hot gas. <laughs> and keep in mind, fellas, this is this was before Karen actually had an established personality. Hey, before she just acted like a regular computer. It wasn't until until a few more episodes when she uh, actually be develops a personality. He, I'm not sure which was the episode that started it, but one of the episodes includes, includes um, um, the one where Plankton uh, has his army. He, which is nothing more than his cousins who are who are. Who are like hillbillies, like, Well, howdy there, cousin Plankton. Now you've met in Shelly, hey, Billy Bob, and I say, All right, already. Why don't you come inside? You see, this is my wife, computer wife, Kellen. Oh, she's a pretty, pretty, ain't Sheldon? Sheldon? Yes, Karen, that is my name. And then she starts laughing, and then she even makes fun of Plankton. With the, she even makes fun of plankton, and with the, and by shouting his name Sheldon. Hey, can you help me to retrieve the secret Krabby Patty formula? Yeah, what's in it for us? Yes. Oh, uh, what do you want? I want some memory for my laptop. How about some root beer? Root beer! Help me get the secret Krabby Patty formula and you shall have all the root beer! And they go into the, they go into the, um... They go into the Krusty Krab. For some reason, Spongebob was absent all day. I'm not sure what happened during those events. So they actually managed to get into the vault. They they locked Mr. Krabs and Squidward in the toilet, and then they um they discovered the secret ingredients: a pinch of salt, a cup of love, and four pounds of grounded plankton. He tried to win you, and then he screams and runs away. And the other plankton and the and plankton's cousins also ran away too, except for one. Why aren't you running, lad? What? I can't read. Get out of here. <laughs> In fact, that thing actually kind of... I, I, I don't know about you, but I think that that uh, part where Plankton screams because he thinks he's going to be eaten, I think that, that I think that bit comes back in the infamous episode One Course Meal. Oh. Of course, we all know how infamous that episode is, where Plankton believes that he... Um, that uh, he's about to be eaten because of a whale, even though he has met Pearl in many times, like in Dunces and Dragons, and uh, and uh, the algae is always the algae is always greener. Yeah. And he still believes that uh, Plankton that uh, that he's going to be eaten, so he lies on the road waiting for the bus to come. I think there was a I think there was another later episode of SpongeBob where the plankton whale thing kind of happens again, but uh, I kind of forgotten what it was. But even though there were still some other later episodes like a Jailbreak and Married to Money, where plankton isn't afraid of whales anymore, it just it doesn't always make up its mind. Just like the uh, the uh, believing in ghosts thing, there are plenty of episodes where the Flying Dutchman appears, but. And there are time, and it goes back and forth with Mr. Krabs and Squidward believing ghosts. 
like um, yeah, of course in the in the um, scaredy pants they introduced the uh, Flying Dutchman everybody was there including Squidward but in episodes like a uh, ghost host where the Flying Dutchman crashes into Spongebob's house and Squidward is like Spongebob how many times I have to tell you I don't believe in ghosts and I never liked you here we go, we have sp um, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> now some of you might be asking me, uh, why not, why don't you include the hat onto Spun, onto screen? I think it's, uh, unfortunately, I think it's a bit too big, uh, too small, and for, to cram that all in. So, let's just say he's working from home. Okay, um, let's see, piece of A. Um, okay. All right, it's, um, hmm. Let's Wondering where I can find some space. No, I actually heard that, um, I, I don't know about you guys, but um, maybe I may have misheard, but I heard Amphibia and uh, Owl House are, are they ending this year, or did Amphibia already end? I, I, I can't remember. Um, I, I mean, I heard their, their series ended up being quite short, let's say. And Star Versus at least lasted for about, um, um, lasted for about, uh, two, um, four years while, uh, some, sh some shows just ain't so lucky. In fact, Skylanders Academy only lasted for about, um, hmm. for about, um, eight years, hmm. I mean two years, and, um, uh, the, um, the, um, uh, the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance, it only lasted for one day. Hmm.
Oui. Here we go, we have a uh, Marcy Wu swimming at Nemo. So why you didn't put a swimsuit on Mar? Let's see. Um, I don't think I can do. Uh, is there? Is there an? Is there an actual? So, um, I think I better do an official one. I mean, so far from what I'm seeing, the uh, the. The, the ones I'm seeing are fan arts. I, I don't think I should do any uh, fan arting on... I, I don't think I can make up a swimsuit at the moment. I, I can only work with something official. Anyways, what was I? Destroying a copy of a good dinosaur with a Zay coin. Oh, great. Somebody asking me to... to poop on something I know I get the good dinosaur isn't a lot of people's favorites I can totally understand and that um, so I'm just drawing this line here so I can make some room um. See on the no swim. Wally chasing. Hmm. Yeah, the opening of the film is kind of out of place. I will admit, though, that the character designs kind of clash with the uh, kind of clash with the um, what was it again? Um, the design of the dinosaur of the good dinosaur. Here's kind of the clash with the uh, um, design with the with the designs of the landscapes. I mean, we had these realistic looking dinosaur I'm, I'm backgrounds, but the Kai dinosaurs look so cartoony. It just doesn't suit right. I mean, if it was something like uh, Hotel Transylvania, where the characters are cartoonish and over the top, and the char and the environments are kind of the same, are kind of a bit of the same thing, like a tr like a hotel full of monsters and stuff, that would have been that would have worked better. But since uh, this is a these are cartoony dinosaurs in a very realistic background, 
It looks very out of place. And another thing I think a lot of people complain about is the the way the the dinosaur the character does um, Arlo's designs. I mean, somebody wants uh, somebody wants uh, uh, at um, posted a comment saying how much he dislikes Arlo's design, saying that uh, the knees should not be bent like that. Although I have to ask to him, um, we have ostriches, there are some birds whose knees are bent the opposite. It, it kind of makes sense. And I am, even some hooped creatures like uh, the elephant, they're, I thought maybe they kind of look something similar, but uh, I don't know, I mean, maybe I'm just a bit. I'm trying to defend the design a bit. Um, maybe maybe it is a bit out of place. Um, I'm just trying my hardest to justify it. Maybe it's not very effective. I don't know. Okay, that's Arlo for the good dinosaur. Hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot to cross out Wally. Okay, let me just um Okay. There's a Bug's Life, Incredibles, Cars, Up, Brave, Inside of Coco, Onward, Soul, and the Shorts Left. Making some great progress. <laughs> Let me try that. I don't think I can include um I don't think I can include a lot of details on Lightning McQueen so I'm just gonna um
Oops. I don't think I can put the 95 on the side. I can only do it in the front. There we go. We have lightning with spider legs. That's the car's bit down. Now what else? What else? What else? Oh, um. Oh, it's to it's to uh, tribute the, uh, the to the uh, to the guy who um, the voice of Charlie Brown who unfortunately passed away recently. I heard that even he suffered from a uh, bipolar disorder, uh, something Robin Williams had. And uh, the, according to him, uh, Charlie was his comfort food, was, was something he hold, held dear. His role as Charlie as a kid is one he held very dearest to. Just, uh, let me just um it's to give him a bit of a because uh, in the comics I mean in the books in in most illustrations Charlie Brown's design is often with a squiggly mouth Uh, it can also be a sign of rest and please blue sky the animators of the peanuts movie anyways um what was i can think all right that's um <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, I remember that. Um,
<laughs> Do you remember what happened to Thunderhead? Thunderhead wasn't the brightest. November 15th of 58. I was asleep. He and his cake got snagged onto a... <laughs> Thunderhead wasn't the... Strato girl, April 26. Cape caught in a jet turbine. <laughs> Metal Man Express Elevator, Dino Guy, Slash Down, Sucked to the Vortex. No kips! <laughs> hmm. Hmm. You know, you know the term the I know there's this there are some people who do not like this trope called the liar reveal where um you know, where the characters go where the characters they they say they're going to do something that it turns out something is and what they're doing is not exactly true but um they then play along but then the people when the people realize what it truly is they say, oh, we don't trust you. They leave, they mope and dope, and then they come back. They say, and they say the day. I think A Bug's Life was my introduction to the trope. Or, or was it, or was it Mulan? Hmm. 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 <gasps> it may, it might have been, it might have been, uh, um, yeah, I mean, it is the Nostalgia Critic's uh, number one worst, uh, uh, number se second worst cliche of all time. Wait, wait, I got him. My favorite, my favorite character here in A Bug's Life is uh, probably uh, Dim, the Rhino Beetle, uh, the one that was played by Brett Garrett. Um, I don't know. He's he. I don't. I, he's uh, he may not contribute much, but uh, that the, just the now. If you know me, humongous rhinoceros guy, but um, the thing about his, um, I mean. The thing about him is that uh, he's um, not only is he huge, he's also very friendly, like a uh, very friendly titan. He's a I. Why do I always? Why do I? In, sometimes I enjoy big lugs who are who are softies. He's it shows that they do have a sensitive side. I mean. Of, this is a common character trope, of course. We have characters like uh, um, Bulkhead from Transformers Animated, and um, I'm trying to think what other characters is like that. Uh, 
very strong bulky characters who have a sensitive side but I also like how he's able to give uh, characters a live oh tight mr. red I even have a I even have a, I, I think I still I'm not sure if I still do but I did own a a, a dim rhino beetle plushie as a kid I may have given it away, but I still I liked I liked it very much. I used to take it to a hotel with me. It was a it was on a ship, the hotel ship, let's say. Hmm. Ah, yes, Eduardo is another example. Um. Hmm, I think the thing is a bit too big. Um, and of a mind, I don't think I can sh I can do anything about it. Okay, so all we got now is uh, oh yeah um yeah wait no mind uh, I got up brave Coco onward soul and the shorts um let's see what else do we uh, have. He said he accidentally, um... Okay, I'll be right back. I just need to uh, use the bathroom. Okay, I'm back, and, uh, ooh. Not to, why not Kevin? Is a, ooh, so. Basically, can counts a close encounter with a gigantic terror bird.
Sorry, something's a... Uh... Um, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, like the um, only two birds in uh, what is Taurus Rockus or the giant terror bird is like the only I uh, like the only is like one of the only two birds present in uh, walking with beasts. The other being the Gastornis or Diatrima, and the other is um, it's not the only it's not the only um, non mammal. There's also another non-mammal in in walking with beasts. These gigantic ants. I know they have a scientific name, but I I'm just gonna I call them just the giant ants. Hmm, the largest species of ant, and they mainly eat anything that doesn't get away in time. Uh. <laughs> there you go, we have a, a Terra Bird and Kevin. There goes up. Next up is Brave. There's the Bears, there's Marita, there's, um, Um. Hmm.
I don't know about you, but every time I draw a star, she always brings a smile to my face. Now some people, some people could say that Joy is kind of like Spongebob in a sense. And they often like to, they often like to be super cheerful and stuff. And, but they constantly annoy their, annoy their friends. Especially with, with um, Joy with the accordion bit and, um. And Spongebob with his Taya! <laughs> okay, I won't I won't do the patterns and uh on the live. I I'll do them off screen. It just saves me a bit of time. Also, and have you noticed that Joy is barefooted? I mean, I think everybody else, uh, everybody else is uh, wears shoes, but Joy, on the other hand, with pant, uh, wears. Uh, Joy, on the other hand, uh, is barefoot. I guess she, it's to represent how wild and free she is. Also, the reason why I bring up Joy with the Spongebob comparison is because did, did you know that her voice actress, Amy Poehler, or is, is that how you pronounce her name? Uh, she once played in Spongebob Squarepants as the voice of this, uh, this woman, this old woman, who uh, used to take Gary in after Gary ran away from home. Home. And but she constantly keeps thinking it's Miss Tubsy, Miss Tubsy, and she kept feeding Gary lots of things. Unfortunately, most she Gary then finds a closet full of of old shells, indicating that she may have overfed her snails to death, or she may have eaten them. And this is not the only time she's played a character on Nickelodeon. She's also she also plays uh, she also plays um, this character in the Mighty B, who um, who is who is said to be um, said to be a female SpongeBob, as described by her. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's see. Let's see. Um. Um, what was it again? Um, I don't know how I can do possession, so, um... Who parody Inside Out better, Family Guy or The Simpsons? Um... I don't know, actually. Can't really think of that at the moment. What was it again?
again, to some people, the uh, afterlife is actually very scary. Do you still do you do you still have your conscience when you're you? Do you still have your um? Hmm. Do you um do you still um get to care? Have still have your memories in another world, or is it completely erased, and you just fade into nothing but darkness? I mean, I did somewhat traumatize my folks with that after I made my nine lives animation. Nine afterlives, I meant. Now some would now some could say that the designs of the skeletons are a bit odd. I mean, like um, like why are this? Why do the skeletons have lips? And they why do the skeletons have lips? I guess they wanted to make it more more uh, kid friendly because skeletons in general can be a bit of a bit of a can be quite scary to look at. There's a K that's that's taken care of uh, for co 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 All we have is brave onward and soul Hmm, maybe I can do that I always think of Soul as a combination of Casper and Inside Out, in a sense, with a bit of Freaky Friday attached.
Um, there is a, yeah, there, there's a, there's a funny thing because Mandy often likes to, often keeps beating Billy up, even though Billy still considers her as one of his best friends alongside her win. But deep down, Mandy actually has, uh, has feelings for Billy. I mean, there is in, this was indicated in Billy and Mandy's Big Boogie Adventure. A uh, bit of a transparency we have here. Let me let me just uh, let me just do a little. There now that there's some transparency right there. Yeah, I'm right, I'm right next. I put in I put in two characters next to each other that are voiced by Gray Delisle. Okay, we got Onward and Brave next, and then I'll give you the opportunity to uh, choose um choose um. What was it again? Um, um, a short. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Um, oh, okay. Um, Decidu I think I think this is the regular decidu I I don't think there's an I don't is there is, are there two different versions of decidu I think I think um, there's a there is a hisu in decidu but um, oh, oh okay so the the Alolan decidu is the uh, original one is it Again, I have not I have not caught up with with Pokemon, so um, this is your, this was the original, right? Um. Let me just um Yeah, the last animated film, um, apparently, um, Brave was, uh, dedicated to Steve Jobs. I have heard that, I have heard that, um, Brave was basically made because, um, there was criticism that, um, there was criticism about, um, what was it, um, about the lack of female characters as the main as 
lack of female main characters. The result was um, not bad, but just not very, um, not very um, strong. Saying that this is Pixar, surely they can do better than this. Um, well, you got it. Um, well, um, it wouldn't be until something like Inside Out where they actually do include some more female focus characters like Riley and Joy. And um, then this tradition would even continue with. Uh, would even continue with um let me just uh let me just look up for a minute um um and where where and we're gonna have we're gonna have another one with turning red Let me just add in a little, um, some, <laughs> ironic that I'm dressing her up as a bird, while her mother ends up as a bear. And she's one of the, and another thing is that she's one of the few Disney princesses. In fact, she's the first. Uh, she's the first um, Disney princess to not be made at Walt Disney Animation Studios. To she's the first um, Disney princess to not have a significant other. Um. Everybody, um, most of everybody else, everybody else before her has, um, Snow White has the prince, Cinderella has the prince, Sleeping Beauty has the prince, Philip, um, Be um, Belle has the beast, um, Belle has the beast, the La uh, Jasmine has Aladdin, um, Aladdin has Jasmine. Um, the um, Pocahontas has John Smith. Um, Mulan has Shang. Um, Tiana has Naveen. Um, and Rapunzel has Flynn, right? Flynn. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Yeah. And it was, and in later incarnations, we have some more this, the princesses who don't have a significant other like uh, Elsa she doesn't Anna does but not Elsa and um, and uh, Moana also you could say Mo I'm, I'm not sh I'm not sure I'm, I'm Moana doesn't really have one you could say Maui but I don't really count that I don't think the people really the I don't think they count that really <laughs> Um, there's, um, trying to think, um, Raya definitely doesn't, and I'm not sure if Mir Mirabelle counts as a Disney princess, but she doesn't either. Now, onward to onward.
Okay. Um. Huh. Thank you, sir. Sorry, using for using the super chat. That's fine. That's fine. I thought this was pretty. This one was all right. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um. Just um. Another thing I've known, um, apparently um, Tom Holland is often casted as these uh, these um, American boys who are uh, often a little whiny and stuff. I guess because of Spider-Man, he's been typecasted uh, to do a lot of whiny Americans. <laughs> Let's see, he's, uh, he's um, Ian Lightfoot in... In Onward, he's that inventor kid in Spies in Disguise. Most of his roles are, are always have him with an American accent. I mean, uh, what? Um, let me, let me know in the comments if you if if there are any movies you've seen of him, where he often where he is with his uh, British accent. Okay, that's on word. And now I'll, I'll allow just one more. Now, which short do you want me to do? There's, there's a lot of different shorts. There's 
looks so junior. There's bow. There's a. Uh, Now, when you when you look at when you now, funny enough, when uh, when Pixar um, wait, what was that again? Uh, I forgot. Um, <laughs> he. Hmm, it is a pity that the rodent is no longer at Disney. Instead, um, it is, um, somebody else has the rights to him. Wait, I don't think I'm doing it right. Um. Wait, 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 wait. Mm. Another thing I enjoyed, you know, the thing I like about uh, Look So Junior is that while they don't have m too much emotion and they are completely silent, you can sort of read what they're what they're going through and you can and because they're silent you can uh, sort of dub over your own interpretation for what they're saying for what they're thinking hmm like this bigger lamp you can say that he may have a little bit of fun he might have a little bit of fun with the uh with the ball or he's like yeah just leave me alone i just want to I just want to relax. And the younger one is quite eccentric, trying to find new ways to play with the ball. And when, uh, when, and when the uh, other one, when the ball unfortunately bursts, when the ball unfortunately bursts, um, you could interpret that, um, you can interpret that, um, the biggest lamb is like, sorry, but you're not getting another one, or, uh, sorry about that kid. Hmm. You can, yeah, and this is one thing I really try, because they're silent, and be, you can interpret, and it, because of, I mean, you can interpret your own, um, you can interpret your own um, um, indication for how what what you think the characters are feeling and stuff. <laughs> Take notes, Walking with Dinosaurs, twenty thirteen. That's how you. That's how you um, do a movie where it's most supposed to be about no dialogue. This is what happens when executive when you ex when you meddle and enforce the characters to have dialogue so characters can quote unquote relate. There we go. We have uh, apparently we have Luxo Junior and Scrat, and apparently something's happened. The lamp can't see anything. <laughs> My he's saying, did you about the scratch situation? I did, I did. <laughs> he's like, the like the live stream wouldn't be complete without this. Okay, fellas, I think that's about it. Where it has been a wild ride with Pixar. 
Now, for 17 days, I'm not for uh, actually um, I'm not I'm gonna take a break from doing live streams for about um, nearly two weeks because um, I'm quite busy from the fourth to the twenty or because there's a bit of a big event happening in in, in something something it's kind of like what happened in 2021 in in the summer which was supposed to be in 2020 but in this occasion instead of the summer it's in winter. So I'm going to take a break from doing any live streams then. But in the but once I finish that in the next live stream it's going to be on the 22nd and like Pixar it's another anniversary of it's another anniversary of uh, another animation studio and unfortunately it's one that closed down and fitting how my last one my last request is some is related to that. <laughs> all right, thank you for joining me. I'll see you all in the next live stream. I hope you've enjoyed this video.